One of the most important programs on any Linux system is the terminal. Over the years, I've tried dozens of different terminal emulators, and today I wanted to try one that I think is truly unique, truly different. It stands apart from the crowd, and that terminal emulator is called Cool Retro Term. So let me switch over to my desktop and let me go ahead and launch Cool Retro Term. And this is what it looks like out of the box. By default, it uses a amber color. So as you can see, it kind of mimics those old school monochrome amber colored monitors that were very popular <laughs> like in the 1980s when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school and we had computer labs. I mean, this is this is the kind of monitors that we sit down in front of. This is what a computer would was and it mimics it rather faithfully as far as the curvature around the screen because those were those old CRT monitors that kind of bulged around the edges and, and in the center you know the center was a little closer to you than the outside edges of the screen and you had the screen flicker and then you had these annoying lines sometimes that would travel across the screen you can see this glow line <laughs> this traveling across the screen and this is truly a blast from the past uh, when I first launched this I've got to admit, I laughed for a couple of minutes because it brought back so many memories. And you can configure Cool Retro Term. There's a lot of customization you can do with it. Uh, by default, though, you get this amber color. If I do a quick LS, you can see it's mainly monochrome. There's some different shadings to the amber color. And at least with the default amber color scheme, it's reasonably easy to read. I don't struggle necessarily reading this. Some of the other um, configurations I do have trouble reading. If I wanted to open something in Vim, I will say one annoying thing is when I open a text file in Vim, obviously the background becomes much lighter. And overall, this becomes very hard to read, right? I, I would never want to edit a file in Vim using uh, this default amber monochrome color scheme here in Cool Retro Term. Let me quit out of that. For those wondering how Emacs in the terminal looks with Cool Retro Term, honestly, it looks about the same. Oddly enough, Emacs in the terminal takes a long time to load in Cool Retro Term. For some reason, that's not normal in any of my other terminal emulators, but it, it took a minute <laughs> here inside Cool Retro Term. But when it finally does load, it's a lot like Vim, right? That really light background that's not a lot of contrast and is very difficult to read. But as I said, you can configure it a little bit. If I right click on the terminal and I go to settings, by default, it's using the default amber color scheme. But if I wanted to, I could double click monochrome green and we changed to a green color scheme, which was a popular monochrome color for monitors. It usually, especially back in the 80s, if you weren't using a amber colored monitor, typically they were using the green colored monitors. I will say I find the green a little harder to read actually than the amber just slightly some of the other ones there is green scan lines which is not quite as monochrome you can actually see that instead of just being all shades of green there's a little yellow here there's a little red here because actually my ls command does have color if i actually opened the alacrity terminal and did a ls you know i've got these various values in my ls command that they actually have different colors well in this the green scan lines uh, theme here inside cool retro term there is a little bit more differentiation i can tell for example the w in this column is supposed to be red it kind of looks red and this here kind of looks yellow rather than green some of the other themes just quickly there is default pixelated which honestly just looks like a standard terminal other than it's got the blurring going on it's got the glow line that travels across it but other than that you notice the curvature of the screen is a lot less so it's, it doesn't bulge around the edges so this might be something if you find some of the other color schemes really hard to read and annoying. This one seems to be pretty easy on the eyes. There is Apple II. Let's check that out. This one, um, man, that the bevels around the screen, the, the curvature of it, uh, everything is kind of distorted. I, I would think long term, this one here would be really, really hard to read from a historical point of view, though. I do think that is a rather cool effect. I, I kind of like that theme. And then you have vintage. Vintage is horrible as far as readability. And you can see it flickers and sometimes the, it, you get some wave effects going on. So this is 
This is actually historically accurate as well. I've actually sat down in front of monitors that were this hard to read in real life, but nowadays I would never volunteer to sit down in front of something like that. We have IBM DOS, which is very difficult to read. You can see like all the uh, fonts are really blurry and yeah, that, that's a tough one on the eyes as well. IBM 3278 is actually very readable. So this one here, I do another LS, this looks pretty good. If I open Vim, we still have the same problem really in all the themes where when you open something in Vim, the background, it's no longer as dark as it you had expected it to be. Now it's that light green and that's just, it's really tough on the eyes. The last default theme here is called futuristic. Futuristic is actually pretty normal looking other than some of the uh, the glow line that's traveling across it and you have some pixelation but other than that it looks much more like a normal terminal emulator than probably any of the other themes and just because these are the standard themes that ship with cool retro term you can change them i'm actually going to go back to the default amber theme but if you wanted to you could go in here to terminal and you can change the scaling the font widths if you want to get into some of the coloring i mean it, right it's a monochrome monitor right so there is the monochrome color but you could adjust that if you wanted to you could also go into effects and you can change the uh, strength of the various effects that are going on in the terminal such as bloom burn in static noise jitter glow lines screen curvature ambient light flickering horizontal sync and rgb shift so for example the screen curvature is set to 30 percent by default in the amber color scheme but maybe you know i wanted to change the screen curvature to let's bump it up to 55 percent you know you can see i really made a major difference As a matter of fact i would say i've probably started to venture into making that a little less readable because 30 percent 30 percent i don't mind really for maximum readability i'd probably bump that down maybe to like to 15 percent yeah, I, I would probably go with that, but for now, I'll actually move that back to 30%. I just wanted to show that these sliders do work, and probably some of the things that would really affect readability, static noise, which for d the default amber color is only set to 12%, but some of the other color schemes are really staticky, and man, that is, that's really tough to read. I'm going to bump that back down to, I think it was set to 12% by default. I'm actually going to get out of the settings. I think one of the reasons that people would find Cool Retro Term a really interesting terminal emulator is because one of the things that a lot of people find enjoyable at the terminal is running retro games, especially. For example, I've got My Man installed. My Man is a Pac Man clone that is free and open source software. It's available in a lot of Linux distributions, repositories, in the uh, Arch user repository, the AUR, you'll find my man. But if I enter this and agree to the terms and everything, let me hit enter and it's going to give me character names and what their colors on the screen would be. Of course, everything's going to be amber here in this monochrome monitor. But let's go ahead and start Pac Man and I am C, the C character, and the Vim keys do work as far as direction, and I ran straight into a ghost. Ready. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get this. I did the exact same thing on the opposite end. Okay, so I'm terrible at Pac-Man, so let me quit out of Pac-Man. If I wanted to, I could play some other uh, cool retro games in cool retro term. There's one called Moon Buggy. This one is also in the AUR, those of you using an Arch-based distribution, or if you're on Debian or Fedora, I bet you'll find both My Man and Moon Buggy in the standard repositories. They're old games, they've been around forever, and they're really cool games. If I start Moon Buggy, you'll be able to see what this is. Basically, we gotta hop the hole there, which I didn't do a good job of, so let's start that again, but you can see. I'm on a road and there's going to be some potholes that I have to jump the buggy with. There we go. Now that I've kind of got it down, of course, you got to watch the widths do change slightly. And it's very easy to not time this right because the jumps are not very big. But this is Moon Buggy. The first level I can get past. After that, it starts getting a little trickier because the holes in the uh, next level actually get bigger. So there's almost no room for error. That one 
almost got me and that is moon buggy let me go ahead and quit out of that so i you know i would probably throw some old school retro games on here you know maybe something like of those of you that like uh dungeons and dragon style games maybe do something like nethack or do some old school telnet games or there are games that you can play over ssh i think that is where something like cool retro term i think really shines and even though we have like a hundred different terminal emulators on Linux, they kind of all do the same thing. Cool retro term, again, really stands out because it tries to harken back to the days of the past, right? Those of us that lived through those early years with these monochrome monitor computers, I think we'll find cool retro term very nostalgic because some of my fondest memories as a kid were actually using those old school amber colored monochrome monitor computers and playing games like the original Oregon Trail, Donkey Kong, and Pong and things like that, uh, Asteroid and Centipede, and, you know, all those really old school retro games. And now I can actually relive those memories now through cool retro term. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Dustin Gabe, James, Matt, Maxim, Mimit, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, West, Wine, you bald homie, Alan, Armor, Dragon, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Diokai, Dylan, Greg, Marshall, Murion, Alexander, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Steven, Tools, Devler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at cool retro term would not have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen, these are all of my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace. Cool retro term is almost as bad on the eyes as those old CRT monitors.